Footy Grid is sweeping the nation. It is very, very popular at the moment. So I thought I would give it a go and try and test my footballing knowledge. I'm going to work backwards from today. So I'll have a crack at some of these footy grids. This is a very Geelong and Gold Coast <laughs> driven footy grid. So a player who played for the Suns and played with Gary Ablett. Played with the Suns and Gary Ablett Jr. I'm going to go... <sighs> Josh Toy, surely he was still on the list. Josh Toy, what a start. Played for the Suns and averaged 25 disposals a game. That would be Cade Collajasny. What? Oh no, I've burnt, I've burnt, I've burnt one of my goes. So now I can't even fill out the whole grid. Gold Coast Suns, average 25 plus disposals in a season. I took Miller's an obvious one. Aaron Hall, potentially. David Swallow. But now that I've burnt one of my answers, I'm going to go safe and go took Miller. I thought Kate Collar Jasney finished like second in their BNF or something. Where, where's where's Took? Jesus, there's a lot of Miller's. 24%. Well, that's a garbage answer. Like, it's, it's a very popular mainstream answer. That's frustrating. How many. Other people would average 25 disposals. 25 disposals a year is elite. There could only be like four or five answers, wouldn't there? Average five plus tackles a season. Oh, these are so hard. These ones are so hard, man. Gold Coast Suns, average five plus tackle. Surely hard brow. Oh, hard, hard brow. Surely Jared Harbrow was averaging five. He, oh. <laughs> Jeez, I'm having a mare. I'm going to move off that. Well, I'm going to... Frustrating, frustrating start here on the footy grid. Played uh, for Geelong and with Gary Ablett Jr. So we're going to go with a really rogue cat. We could go way back in the day. I'm going to go Mitch Brown. Mitch Brown was on the list in 2007 and never played with... What the hell? I'm having a mare. I've only got four answers to go. <sighs> Mitch Brown never played with Gary Ablett Jr. All right, back to the drawing board. Um, Gary Ablett Jr. at Geelong. Let's go really rare. Let's go. I could go like a Jermaine Jones. Yeah, that's a great one. 0.13%. Man, I've only got three answers left. I'm a bit gutted. I'm a bit gutted. This bit, you know. This is the first game today. We're going to build into this. Play with Gary Ablett and played in the 2000s. Play with Gary Ablett, played in the 2000s. Did Brent Maloney play with Gary Ablett? Would have had to. Bang! That's a really rare one. Here we go. We're cooking with gas now. Played at Geelong and averaged 25 plus disposals a year. I don't like that question. Like that is such a hard question to answer. Like 25 disposals for the whole season is elite. It could only be like absolute accumulators. I'm gonna go Jimmy Bartel, but it's gonna be a mainstream answer. I've only got one answer left. I haven't even been given the chance to fill out the whole footy grid. That's how well we're going here. I uh, played in the 2000s, averaged 25 plus disposals. I don't even want to answer that question. I'll do the five plus tackles one. It'll have to be a midfielder. I'm going to go Selwood. So my rarity score was 352. I assume you get 100 if you don't answer one of the blocks. Damn. Let's go to one from a couple of days ago and let's have another dip. All right, so here's a Buddy Franklin one. Hawthorne, Sydney, All-Australian, 50-plus goals, single-digit Guernsey, played with Buddy Franklin. Hawthorne, 50-plus goals, Jason Dunstall, Dermot Brereton, Jared Roughhead, Luke Bruce. Oh, let's go Let's go really rare. Um, Luke Bruce surely kicked 50. Gunston would have kicked 50. Let's go Nathan Thompson. Surely kicked 50 in a season for the Hawks. Bang! That's a great one. That's a great start here, folks. Sydney, 50 plus goals in the season. Who are we thinking? O'Loughlin, Hall. Did Adam Goods ever kick 50 in a season as a forward? Surely Kurt Tippett kicked 50 in a year. I can Isaac Heaney would have been close. Sydney, Sydney. I'm going to go Daniel Bradshaw. 
Bang, 5%. Good start here, guys. We're, we're building in confidence. All Australia, 1991 to present. Who kicked 50-plus goals in a season? Go like a niche D's player. Surely like a um, like a Russell Robinson. Was he ever All-Australian? I reckon he was. He almost won the Coleman one year, Robbo. I'm going to say Russell Robinson. He was not All-Australian. He kicked 70 goals in a season. Oh, I've just blown it. I've blown another opportunity. Man, frustrating. All right, 50 plus goals, all Australian. Let's get serious now, guys. Let's really think about this. All Australian, 50 plus goals. There's so many. There's so many. Uh, I'm going to move on. Hawthorne and a single digit Guernsey. Was Michael Osborne eight? Come on. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Boys and girls are winning back. Some momentum. Hawthorne and played with Buddy Franklin. Who played it? Hawthorne played it, Buddy. I thought, geez, tough, tough, tough. Tough stuff. What was Taya Miles? 2017. Well, no way. No way known. I want to go really rogue. All right, played with Buddy and played at the Swans. There's so many, but you're, you're, you're trying to find the one that no one else has picked, which is tough. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Mitch Morton. Finished in 2013. No, Buddy wasn't there yet. So it's not Mitch Morton. Uh, geez. Pick anyone. There's so many options, McDonald. Just pick one. Sydney and Buddy Franklin. Fuck me. Come on. I'll go Tommy Mitchell. Geez. So not many people would have twigged that Buddy and Tommy Mitch played with each other. So that, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. But I've only got four left. I can't even fill out the grid again. Single digit number for Sydney or single digit number all Australian. All Australian single digit. There's just there's so many people to pick from. All Australian single digit number. Uh, what are we thinking? <laughs> I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Single digit all Australian. Uh, Jimmy Bartel. All Australian 50 plus goals, Sydney and single digit number. Sydney and single digit number. Hayden McLean. <laughs> Is he number two? If I've burnt my answer on Hayden McLean, I'm going to be sad. Yeah, there we go. All right, two more answers. Here, we're cooking with gas now, guys. Hawthorne and played with Buddy Franklin. Played at Hawthorne and played with Buddy. Mark Williams. Oh, no, there's two Mark... Oh, there's three. There's four. There's about five Mark Williams. Yeah, 0.9%. Oh, all right. Well, we've only got one answer to go, but we can't fill the grid, but that's okay. Uh, we'll cop that one on the chin. Play with Buddy and an All-Australian. What's a niche All-Australian that would have played with Buddy? Like a real rogue All-Australian. There's not many rogue All-Australians, is there? You sort of got to earn your keep to get in there. All-Australian that played with Lance. Played with Lance now. Uh, is Jake has Jake Lloyd been all Australian? I'm gonna pick Jake Lloyd. And he wasn't. F I'm so shit. 217 rarity score, but without the two answers that I didn't answer, I would have been on 17%. Frustrating. Alright, we move. We move on to the next. Jesus. Alright, this is a very Ross Lyon prominent uh footy grid. St. Kilda and Carlton. Aaron Hamill. Bang, 16%. Jeez, that's heaps. I thought that would have been a bit rogue. Left footer. Oh, these are hard. Left footer 2013 onwards. The plate at St. Kilda. Oh, I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Left footer. See, I'm not really good with people's boots, and I'm not really good with what side of the foot they kick on. I, I actually don't know. Left St. Kilda left footer. What, what, yeah. St. Kilda, coached by Ross Lyon. That's a bit easier. Uh, I reckon we go to the first batch that were coached by Ross Lyon. Trent Dennis Lane. Was not coached by Ross Lyon. Didn't he play for the Saints? Maybe that was in the 2010s. I am burning. Oh, I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm, Max Hudgston. 1%. We're not stopping until I fill out a whole grid. <laughs> and I've got to stop going with really niche random answers. I've just got to keep ticking them off. Left footer 2013 onwards that played for St. Kilda. Uh, I don't I don't know. Maybe I just don't know footy. Maybe I just don't know the game that I love. Carlton and Freo. Is there an obvious one we're missing? Did Kane Lucas play for both? 
Or did he go to West Coast? He must have gone to West Coast. Far out. <laughs> Carlton and oh. Carlton, one club player. Lance Whitnell. Pretty obvious. Is that too obvious? Why did he come to my brain first? Nick Graham, is that too obvious? Like, I want to go niche, but uh, he definitely played for one club. Matt Watson. We love Matt Watson. Come on. That's a good answer. Left footer, one club player, Aaron Davey. Come on. Three to go. One club player, coached by Ross Lyon. Pav, Luke McFarlane, Aaron Sanderlands, Hayden Ballantyne. Hayden Ballantyne. Come on. Two to go. Carlton and Freo. Carlton and Freo. Man, that stumped me. That's properly stumped me. Carlton and Freo. Did a Warnock go to both? Or am I making that up? Uh, Freo and coached by Ross Lyon. Let's go Lee Spur. Come on. Great answer. And I've only got one answer to go. Left footer and played for the Saints. Who's a left footer that played for the Saints? <laughs> Nicky Dale left foot? I, I don't know. I don't really look at people's feet. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to put Blake Akers in. 30%. Very obvious. Damn. 254. I, I got to play it safe and just, and just fill out a whole grid. That's me goal. All right. Let's fill the whole grid out. We've got to. We've got it. All right, Melbourne and Hawthorne. Cameron Bruce went to the Hawks. Sam Frost. I'm going to go Cameron Bruce. 8%. I'm surprised people remember that. Melbourne and Freo. Jeff White. Ed Langdon. Viv Mitchie. Uh, see, I think Viv Mitchie is obvious because Viv Mitchie is a name that everyone thinks of when you can't think of a name, but maybe it's niche enough. 2.37%. Two, 2. That's pretty good. Melbourne and play with Grundy. Let's go rogue. Let's like really try and mix it up. Like we could go like a, I'm going to go Ben Kennedy because obviously they never played together at Melbourne, but they played together at Collingwood and at Melbourne. Bang, 2.37%. Happy with that. Pies and Freo, Chris Tarrant. Chris Main's a pretty good one. I'm going to go Chris Main. As we said, I don't want to go too niche where it just denies me. 21%. I'd rather that than nothing. Collingwood and the Hawks. Who could we go with? Max Lynch. I think it's too obvious. Collingwood and the Hawks. Yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, we'll go Max Lynch. May as well. But everyone will know that. That'll be a 20%er. Yeah, 18%. Hawks, double digit Guernsey. Matt Spanger, double digit. Could be anyone. I'm going to go Matt, Matt Spanger. Surely he was in the 40s or something. Two point three percent. Uh Freo, double digit Guernsey. Double digit Guernsey played for Freo. Man. Don't don't stuff this up, McDonald. We need to fill out the whole grid here, mate. Double digit Guernsey played for Freo. Surely Clive Waterhouse had two numbers. If I've burnt if I've burnt oh, please. Please. Yeah. Come on. Um, double digit Guernsey and played with Brody Grundy. Yeah, it's a great question. It's a really good question. Insightful question. We'll go Ben Brown. And then Collingwood and played with Brody Grundy. Could be Ben Kennedy again. Collingwood played with Brody Grundy. I'm going to go Jay Rantel. Come on. That's my best one yet. 62%. All right, guys, that is it for another video. My brain is absolutely fried. If you want me to do more footy grid content, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if there was any rogue sort of answers that I could have put or any one that I missed. I butchered a few chances there to fill out the complete grid, but we finally got there in the end. Once again, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone tuning in, and I'll see you all for some more content very, very soon. Cheers.